Hi guys, welcome back to Val's Kitchen. You know Christmas is on its way. I have some cereal. You know when Christmas coming and Jamaica and thing with the answer. Today I will be showing you all how I prepare my cereal drink from scratch. So come along with me and let me show you, okay? I'm gonna wash the cereal. And you know so we have to wash them something here properly. Alright. And a little salt. Just, just some salt to the straw. Alright. I'm going to wash it. Because you know the salt will move. The thing at all that is on the cereal that is not supposed to be on it, the salt will remove it. Same like a vegetable. Yeah. What I'm going to be doing now. Just put the calendar and just. It just come off. Anything that is on the cereal at this point, it will just swim one side. So we just put it, put it here. This is two pounds of cereal. So I'm gonna do it in the nine quart. But it's not really, it's not, it's not really, it don't reach nine quarts though, but it's a nine quart pressure cooker a boiling the ingredients. I'm going to put all the ingredients together and come back and show you all, okay? So, the cereal is here now, it's washed, it's clean. If you have a choice, you know, but if you don't have a choice, and any cereal you can buy, but if you have a choice, when you see this cereal, this one next to burger and the dark, the darkest one, they are the best ones you know they're more stronger you get a lot of juice from them you know when you get it put it together and so you get a, the, the juice nice and richer because this is two pounds you know and i can get actually about three to four quarts when i make up make this up with the with the wine and so i can get a good amount of juice of drink from this all right so i have some cinnamon leaves I have pimento seed and I have a good good amount of ginger, right? The ginger not supposed to overpower the drink, you know? When you're having a drink, you're supposed to taste a little ginger. All the ingredients are supposed to be tasting, but this, I have to be careful with the ginger. We don't want it to be overpowering. I'm gonna be using this size, about a quarter pound or less and a tablespoon pimento seed if you have cloves if you can get the pimento seed guys you can you can use the cloves but you have to be careful when using the cloves because you know the, the, the clove strong is real strong so you have to be very careful with the cloves and, and uh, you know you can always go on with the things with the, with the cinnamon leaf you know so what i'm gonna be doing is best you know, we chop it up and I get out everything but what i'm gonna be doing is grater in the ginger i'm gonna grater the ginger Right, great time. It's not great time already, but you know, maybe that's the finishing. You know, you can cut it up, beat it, you know, but just get everything out of it this way. You know, must great tight enough, but can get something hard and beat the ginger, you know. The amount, the amount of cereal. Want a good tasting, you want to taste a little ginger. Guys, what I can do is just scrape your ginger, you don't have to peel it, you know, just scrape it off, you know, kind of the layers that are on it, it's easy. When you peel it, you now it comes like all of the nutrients, you peel everything and show away. So just scrape off, scrape it, and just wash it. Yeah. Anything left off in a great tight and all them something you leave, just put it in the boiling water see okay, what, what I'm gonna do you know I'm gonna boil this the cinnamon leaf and the ginger about a two to three minutes you know before you throw, I throw it on the cereal yeah you have people that don't drink liquor so 
you can still use it you don't have to use wine you know some people don't drink them something they saw you know right so we're just gonna put a good amount of cinnamon leaf right and pimento seed and the ginger this now this gonna boil for make this boil up for about a about a five minutes or less right make all of this boil together and then come back and show you i'm just gonna pour it pour it on the the cereal all right let's cover that so guys this come to a boil all right if you could just smell all this yeah if you could smell this this aroma is breathtaking what i'm gonna be doing now is just carry the, the, this liquid put the cereal into the plastic container that i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it for a couple of days you can leave it for about like two three days you know make it so keen everything soaking and all and all of that all right so. throw it put the cereal first right put the cereal in the container plastic container guys you know and they say the metal is not good for the cereal to steer to do you know so we use plastic Pour the, the ingredients and now be careful guys hot water yeah mm -hmm. so we can make this tea because you know the preservative and thing is on it the, the fermenter seed the ginger so you can make this so for about a three days Two to three days before we start spice it up with the wine and the rum and if it's a, you know if we're gonna use the liquor because i'm most definitely gonna put all those things in mind some wine a little white rum you know so now i'm gonna put about this is what it's about half cup less than half cup of rice just to just keep it preserve it you know a small amount some people put it after whatever but me just put it before because you know it's a tricky not to you know because the rice even get this nice fluff gummy you know this flavor the rice make it come together nicely yeah you eat a richer a richer texture the rice grain when you put the rice grain in there yeah it does get a nice rich 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 texture too yeah so just finish with that part you know just cover it down in this lock it down so this is what i'm gonna be using in the cereal okay guys because tell you the truth i cannot get the red label wine what i'm gonna do they say that it's the same ingredients that is in the magnum tonic wine the reason why you cannot get the, the revamp them do this over because them say red label wine sell one time per year you understand but the magnum tonic wine now it sell right through the year that is the reason why them just change it over but it's the same thing because we taste it and everything the magnum tastes the same as the red label this is uh, the rare Neville white overproof rum Right, you can use any any white rum of a choice, anything. Cause you don't must use liquor either. Cause you know some people like them sorry, I tell the same way. You know, but festival you want the thing turn up certain way. Sorry, turn up. You want it with a little rum and a little wine. If you turn it up, you know them. You know them the guys. Yeah. So I'm gonna put it together, strain the sorry, and show you. I'm gonna add all these ingredients together. All right.
So guys, after you mix it, you still add some, some rice grain to it, right? Just to preserve it and make it rich and all the flavors come together. tablespoon of the, of the white rum for now. Three tablespoons. That's three cups of sugar for now. Let me put two and a half you now away. And then mix it and save it once. One thing though, the sorrel here is rich, you know, guys. Rich. The dark of the sorrel, guys, when, wherever you are, you know, you can get the, the dark of the sorrel, better, it's richer. The richer the sorrel, the yeah. juice come out richer and nice. a little rice grain for preservative yes guys thanks for watching this is the end of the video please remember to subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up turn on the post notification bell i said don't miss an upload today's shout outs are going to Fernica apollo thanks guys thank you for the support and veronica roberts thanks to you all guys and bye